Surprise, this is Hauschwenk. It's been a while. I've been in Poland. I was lecturing in Poland. I was there for three weeks and uh, been very busy, but I thought I'd get back and make the uh, channel public again for a while. We had some people that were quite uh, abusive and they were uh, wasting our time. So I uh, made it private for a while, but uh, I want to come back now and talk about some wonderful things. I'm going to be uh, doing, or actually I've been doing this already, some of you are already members, of uh, a webinar, a monthly webinar that I have on my website, and you'll see it on my page, biocognitive.com, that's called Healing the Wounded Hero. And it's very limited, only for 20 people, and it's a very reasonable, so everybody can, can do it, 20 to 30 people. And it's been really, really popular. So if you want to join, it'll have to... Uh, It'll have to be quickly because they get filled every, every month. And it's once a month on every Tuesday. The next one is going to be on November 9th. And the wounded hero. Why, why a wounded hero? Well, people go through life as heroes, not as victims. And they usually get hurt by um, people who love them the most. Sometimes for their own good. Sometimes because you have parents that don't happen to be very healthy. Or whatever it is. So the idea is that we get wounded on our path and we learn then archetypal wounds that we pass on in our relationships, but also they stop us when we're beginning to do really well. And uh, then when we're doing well, we find a way to sabotage what's happening so that we can get back into the unworthiness that we were taught. So that's part of the idea. So. What you want to do in these groups, and they, the subject is different every time, it's about healing the wounded hero. November 9th is going to be contemplative psychology, and it's really the psychology of the unmeasurable, the things that you can't measure in your life, the path, the kinds of things that go on in your life that you can't put into a lab and measure that are very important, your emotions, your thoughts. And, uh, and this is why I think that it's important to break it down into parts. So, November 9th, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to accept your excellence without apologies and without a sense of having to ask permission for, from others. Oh, hello from Ireland. Hi, Ireland. Erin Gobra. Ireland is one of my favorite countries, beautiful place. I've lectured there many, many times in Dublin and many other places, so I'm glad you're there. So, these webinars, I guess, and uh, they for, they're for about an hour and a half, and I do them on Zoom, of course, and uh, you can sign up at biocognitive.com on my website, and what I'm doing then is teaching what Aristotle 